Hey everyone, it's Sal here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at a few luxury inspired by fragrances. Um, this video is in collaboration with the uh, perfume house Juliana's Perfume. So I was super excited when Juliana's Perfume reached out to me as I had heard some really fantastic things about this uh, company from uh, Mila LeBlanc, Elithia Marie and also Amy Glam. So I was just um, super thrilled to try them out for myself. Now the fragrances that they've sent me, um, they are dupes of Delina, Delina Exclusive, Chanel Beige, Baccarat Rouge and also Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Love Don't Be Shy by Killian is a fragrance that I have had my eye on for a really long time now. It's a perfume that I was really considering purchasing, not soon, you know, because it's... I was gonna wait and then maybe purchase it in the future. It's not a cheap fragrance. So um, I was really excited to try a dupe of the scent. I really wanted to see how close it really was and whether I still would feel the need to purchase the real one after I received uh, these dupes. So I will tell you kind of at the end where I'm at with that. I will say right off the bat that these fragrances uh, from Juliana's perfume did not disappoint. So uh, without further ado, it's time to sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink and a snack, leave a comment below with your drink of choice and let's get started with today's video. So first up today we have uh, Inner Beauty Exclusive, which is um, a dupe for Parfum de Marley Delina Exclusive, which we all know that I own and love. You can see her sitting over there uh, on my wee tray. So this is the packaging that the uh, Juliana's perfumes come in. I was really impressed with this um, lovely black and gold box. I think it looks really smart, especially with this little gold detailing around here. This lid lifts up like that to reveal the fragrance inside. Now, something that um, I was made aware of by the team at Juliana's Perfume is that they have uh, recently replaced the wee labels on the front of their bottles. I believe they used to be a um, kind of a sticker label, but now they are a metal label, which looks really quite nice. Um, the writing is raised on the label and it's actually metal. So when you first receive it, this label has a kind of film on it, which you would just peel off to reveal the lovely metal kind of label on there. I think it looks really nice. So I was actually really interested to try out Inner Beauty Exclusive. Um, I, I was kind of interested to see how similar it was actually going to be to my Delina Exclusive because as most of you will know by now, I do love that fragrance. I've had it in my collection for probably over a year now and I am very familiar with it. So I was really interested to see um, what it would be like. So I'm just going to spray some of this onto a tester card. Quickly, I'll just show you that in this box, they actually include a little sample of the full size fragrance that you've purchased so that you can try it first. Um, and if you don't like it, you can return it. So they actually include a sample of the fragrance in there behind this. Um, and I think that's a really thoughtful little touch. You know, I actually don't know any other perfume brand that offers that, to be honest. And it's just a nice little bit of um, peace of mind, you know, a little bit of security to know that you can try the fragrance first and then return it if it's not your cup of tea. So I thought that was a really nice touch. The other thing that's really sweet about this perfume house is the fact that with every purchase you make, you can choose two 5ml decants for free as well to be included in this box. So that's really generous actually because a 5ml decant is a, a fantastic size, you know, you can properly try it out. It's in a beautiful kind of frosted glass, little travel size glass bottle here. And I just thought that was a really nice touch. So the two little 5ml fragrances that I have are Inner Beauty, which is a dupe for the original Delina. And I also have Simply Gorgeous, which is a dupe for Chanel Beige. So those are the two little um, smaller decant samples that I got with my order. But first up, Inner Beauty Exclusive. Now, I've tried these out already, but I'm just going to spray some to refresh my memory. Upon the first spray, 
um, of this fragrance, it smells a lot like Delina Exclusive. So it is very, very similar. Overall, I would say it's about 80 to 85% similar, but um, out of all of them, this one was the most different to the original fragrance, if you know what I mean. The other ones that I'm going to mention in a minute are insanely spot on, but I would say this one I would say was around 80% similar to the original Delina Exclusive. What I will say is I asked my sister to try them both and she preferred the Juliana's perfume version. Um, she actually wasn't the biggest fan of my original Delina Exclusive. She sort of said that it had a, a tanginess to it, like a kind of punchiness which I'm wondering if that's maybe the, the oud in here or the amber or something like that. And she also said that um, this one was too powdery, whereas she actually preferred the feeling of this fragrance because this one feels a bit lighter overall. So my sister actually preferred the Juliana's fragrance over the original Delina Exclusive. I would say I, I still prefer Delina Exclusive out of these two. Just for me personally, I think Part of the reason for that is just because I'm so familiar with this fragrance. Um, I've had it in my collection for so long, it's it's such a love for me, you know, and it was such a special purchase. Um, and, you know, it would take quite a lot to mm, beat this or be the same. It, to me, this is quite a complex fragrance, so it would be an incredibly difficult perfume to actually dupe. With all of that in mind, they've done a really good job. This one is very, very similar. So if you're looking for a fragrance that's like really, really extremely similar to Delina Exclusive and you don't want to pay the price tag for the original, which I can totally understand, these are not cheap, um, then I would check this out. And again, like I say, you can, you can test the little sample first. And if it's not what you hoped, um, they do have the, the refund policy, the returns policy. So I would say the Inner Beauty Exclusive, overall, like on a surface level, it does smell like Delina Exclusive, but it doesn't have the same weight to it. It doesn't have that um, warmth from the amber. It doesn't quite have that depth to it, I wouldn't say. It's also not as powdery, which is what my sister kind of noticed. And she, for that reason, she preferred this one. Um, and this fragrance, it's just kind of lighter overall. And there's something about the uh, Juliana's perfume version that's almost woodier, but it's still lighter overall. So it's kind of, there's a few things that don't quite match up. There's a few things about this uh, dupe that I, I don't feel, it's not, it's not the same as this fragrance, but it's very, very similar. So, um, you know, if you weren't too fussed about having a fragrance that's identical, but you wanted one similar to Delina Exclusive, then I would definitely give this one a try because it's a fraction of the price. Uh, Juliana's perfumes range from uh, $59 to $69, which when you compare that to the price point of these uh, Parfum de Marley fragrances, that really is quite a big saving. Um, so this as a standalone fragrance in its own right is very, very nice, I would say. It is a nice fragrance, but it's not 100% dead on the original Delina Exclusive. Um, I would still recommend it. It's a beautiful fragrance, but it's not quite um, spot on, I wouldn't say. Inner Beauty, on the other hand, is incredibly spot on. So uh, Juliana's perfume have a dupe of the original Delina which I personally think is just extremely, extremely accurate. Um, I was amazed by this actually, so I'm just gonna spray. That is extremely, extremely similar to the original Delina. I do have this little um, travel size of Delina that I got my uh, sister, so this is my sister's fragrance, but I'm just gonna quickly smell just to kind of compare those two scents. It's so spot on, you guys. It really is. So their dupe of the original Delina is spot on, but the dupe of Delina Exclusive, for some reason, to me, isn't quite as accurate. I don't know if that's just because I have worn my Delina Exclusive so many times and I'm just so familiar with it and picky in a way. I don't know if that's the reason, but to me, the dupe for Delina Exclusive is maybe like 80% similar whereas their dupe for the original Delina is just exactly identical to me. 
it smells so nice. I wouldn't, I don't love Delina enough to purchase a full bottle, but I do enjoy having like these little small sizes. It's a nice fragrance, it smells nice, um, but I don't, I'm not obsessed with it enough to invest in a full bottle from Parfum de Marly, you know. So it's kind of nice that I have these wee um, travel sizes. They did include three of these for me, there's one in each um, box, so I will really enjoy wearing these. Um, it's really a very sweet, playful, girly, bubbly kind of scent. Oh, it smells so good. So that is uh, Inner Beauty and Inner Beauty Exclusive. Next up today we have Aurora, which is a dupe for the incredibly popular fragrance Baccarat Rouge. Now, um, this perfume really amazed me, you guys. It is so incredibly similar to Baccarat Rouge, but I almost prefer this one for some reason. <sighs> There's something in the Julianas perfume version that's almost a whisper sweeter. So the notes of Aurora, we have uh, violet, jasmine, saffron, praline, ambergris, amber, vanilla and oak moss. And uh, similar DNA to Baccarat Rouge 540. And um, there was a wee description on their website of this one actually that uh, kind of made me smile. They described it as sweet, airy goodness, bliss and clouds of love. And um, something about that description really, it just made me smile, you guys. I thought it was a really sweet description of this fragrance. It is just incredibly, incredibly similar. There's something about this one that almost has more to it than the original Baccarat Rouge. I never felt a burning desire to purchase the original Baccarat Rouge fragrance. Um, it's a nice perfume, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I have my little sample here of it um, and earlier today I was spraying both of these and sniffing them and kind of trying to decipher the differences and to me the original Baccarat Rouge is more kind of herbal almost and uh, the Juliana's perfume version is slightly more emphasis on the sweet kind of core to the scent. It still has that really interesting airy spun sugar like texture to it, um, this one I mean, and it still has that sweet and salty nature like from the ambergris and uh, the saffron and everything like Baccarat Rouge, you know, but there's something in this version here that almost has something a bit more to it that I just love and I'm thinking it might be the praline notes in the heart notes of the scent that's giving it almost a bit more weight, but it still has that very nice aerated kind of texture to it. I do enjoy this version more, I do. There's something sweeter about this, but it's not too sweet. It's still kind of balanced with the slightly salty nature of the ambergris. It's still, it's basically just, it's Baccarat Rouge. It's incredibly, uh, it's incredibly similar. You know, this is a, a very, very accurate dupe. But I think because they've included that praline note in there, it's just a whisper sweeter and I really love that about it. It gives it more substance to me and there's just something about this that I almost felt was lacking or there was something missing for me in the original Baccarat Rouge. It was almost too aloof, too airy, you know, and this fragrance, it has something more to it that I just love. Just, it's so incredibly amazing, you guys. These perfumes, the price point for what you receive, the beautiful packaging, the fact that these are all extra de parfum concentration as well, I think I forgot to mention that. Um, they are very concentrated scents, you know. They're not gonna be the type that just uh, disappear on your skin. Um, you know, they are good value for money, very concentrated fragrances. And this one smells absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. So that is Aurora from Juliana's Perfume. And you guys, I have saved the best till last because um, this fragrance right here, A Night to Remember, is a dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Now, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I have had my eye on that fragrance for quite a while now. I have tested it quite a few times. Every time I see it in a department uh, shop, I spray some. I love testing out that fragrance and I did, it was kind of on my wish list. I did, I knew I wanted it, but I kind of kept dismissing it because of the price point, you know. 
and I sort of thought to myself if this fragrance is so similar I actually won't need to buy that one and I don't need to buy the original you guys this one is so so dead on this is incredible this fragrance I couldn't believe it if you've tried Love Don't Be Shy you will know that it's quite a heavy scent it's almost like marshmallows but it's quite powdery it's quite heavy it has something deep to it if you know what I mean it has something about it that's very very particular and very um unique to that fragrance I thought that the dupe would be fairly good but I didn't expect it to be this good um <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I just I just adore this fragrance honestly I wore it I've been wearing this one non-stop I wore it, um, I sprayed it in the evening, I wore it to bed and I could still smell it on myself in the morning. It was this beautiful powdered marshmallow, sweet kind of orange blossom, rose, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Oh my gosh, you guys. So the notes of A Night to Remember, we have bergamot, pink pepper in the uh, top notes. We have orange blossom, jasmine, geranium, rose and honeysuckle in the heart notes and in the base we have vanilla, sugar, caramel, amber and musk. <sighs> I don't know how they did it but they have got this one down to a T and I'm over the moon with it. I'm absolutely over the moon with this one. Everything about how this smells is exactly like Love Don't Be Shy and now I don't need to purchase that fragrance. So I really, I really love the fact that Juliana's perfume dupe very high-end niche fragrances because those are the types of perfumes that are quite often out of my price range um, or at, you know at the very upper limit anyway. So having these fragrances available it really makes them more accessible you know. Um, I, I just, I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon. It's just honestly such an incredible fragrance. Oh my gosh, you guys, it just reminds me of like rich, indulgent, powdered marshmallows. You can smell the orange blossom in there. It's maybe a tiny touch balsamic or something. There's something addictive in here. It's a very, very sweet perfume, but it smells very well done. You know, it smells um, alluring, so feminine, so flirtatious, seductive, perfect for a date night or just any day. This would make such a nice signature scent, actually. It's just such a, a an uplifting, sweet, feel-good, feminine fragrance. And I absolutely love it. So that is a night to remember from Juliana's Perfume. I do also have this wee decant of Simply Gorgeous from uh, Juliana's Perfume as well. This is a dupe for Chanel Beige and I haven't tried the original one so I can't comment on how similar it is uh, you know but this is a really nice fragrance. <sighs> Such an elegant fragrance really really office friendly very professional very very soft diffuse it's kind of a a yellow floral clean crisp linen kind of scent kind of fresh fresh florals and um, it almost it reminds me of freshly cleaned clothes or something like that very professional very polite um Quite a reserved scent as well, you know, perfect for work, perfect for an interview, that kind of thing. Um, I can see this one really coming in handy, but like I say, I can't say um, how similar it is to the original because I haven't tried Chanel Beige, but um, it certainly smells very, very nice. I think this would be perfect for just every day going to work, any sort of... Um, any situation where either I needed to be professional, concentrate or be calm in general. I think this perfume would really come in handy. So that is Simply Gorgeous from Juliana's Perfume. So there we have it you guys. That is my review of uh, Juliana's Perfume. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I am so thankful to have been able to uh, collaborate with this fantastic company and I'm so thrilled to have a new favourites in my collection. This fragrance A Night to Remember is an absolute gem so um, a huge thank you to Juliana's Perfume for uh, collaborating with me on this video. 
thank you again for watching. I will leave my code up on the screen here uh, to give you guys a wee bit of money off if you decide to make a purchase from Juliana's perfume. Thank you again for watching, take care and I will see you very soon on my next video. Bye!